welcome back to the vlog um we're going very comfortable today we just finger combed our hair we got on our robe this is basically our pajamas i got off work it is 5 37 so i've been off work for like an hour and a half at this point and i'm tired i'm trying to wake up because i know I have to record and stuff it's really ugly outside like it rained for like all day from start to end it rained all day and then it rained a little bit today and then that rain turned into snow so it's just icy like it's not a lot of snow but it's just ice with a cute little layer of snow there was this guy or whoever it is they were outside struggling for a second just driving and I'm sitting here and I'm like who the hell is mowing their grass right now? Like how? And then I look out there and they were basically just, I don't know, trying to reverse back up into the parking lot. Horrendous. <sighs> but I'm hungry. And because the other day when I was out, I didn't get any water. This is all I have. I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't want to go outside today. And I'm probably not going to go outside tomorrow. So we have to figure it out with the resources that we have. I'll probably come out of the house Saturday because I don't have gas like that either. Now it sounds like somebody's out there shoveling. I don't know. They live in a very eventful life. Um, I did buy ingredients to make Alfredo. So I kind of want to have Alfredo. Yesterday I went and got wings and ring wing stop. Yesterday I went and got wing stop and honestly it wasn't that good. I was not impressed. And then I also got mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A, but that was all yesterday. I still have wings left, but I want to have some meat with my wings, so I might I don't know if I want meat with my meat meat with my wings. Meat with my Alfredo. So I'm kind of on the fence. Like, do I want to come in here and make Alfredo right now? Like, I don't feel like doing the whole cooking with Chrissy situation because the kitchen table is still a mess. So I might come in here and just make a quick little Alfredo situation just because I do want pasta. I do want something warm. I do need content. And I got to eat. So we're figuring something out. I just don't feel like it. Like, I'm starving. I do have some leftover pizza, so I'm like, hmm. Alfredo teams. Should I eat some vegetables with it? I guess I should probably eat some vegetables all my tiny little pyrex are stuck together and my other tiny one is in the fridge so I'll, and then I gave all my other baking dishes away what have I done okay idea these glass dishes I believe they can be in the oven for up to 350 degrees so I think that's where we're gonna dump everything in it sounds like somebody is struggling to get up in the on, in this parking lot again i'm gonna have to go check these people are dying in the trenches man they might have got in it's not even a steep hill but i think it's like it's like a slight elevation but i think the issue is that there's water there's like ice all underneath the snow so the people are just they're not doing good my old car had four, like four wheel drive. This car does not, so I will not be out there partaking in that. Well, maybe we won't make the whole bag. Maybe we'll just make like half the bag. thing is like mostly cauliflower I 
can't find anything else, so we're just gonna throw some seasoned salt in here. It looks crazy because it's literally orange. A little bit of seasoned salt and I'm gonna put these in the oven for like 350 until they're cooked, basically. Hopefully that's okay. I'm pretty sure it said up to 350. I'm pretty sure. I just can't recall off the top of my head, but let's go ahead and start on the pasta, I guess. Or should we do sauce first? Battery's flashing. Let me switch out this battery and hopefully by then I would know pasta or sauce first. Let's ingredients for the Alfredo. Butter, garlic, heavy whipping cream that you hope is not spoiled, cream cheese that you hope is not spoiled, cheese, I have Parmesan and mozzarella, milk, whatever seasonings you're gonna use. I have seasoned salt. I don't know what else I'm gonna put in it. Probably pepper, it'll be fine. Okay, so we decided to do both. We have water for the noodles pan for the sauce um i actually just salt my water i'm so hungry you guys i'm not gonna make it where's my salt i'm just gonna use this salt in a grinder because oh it's not even open i'm not using that i think when i used it i just took the lid off because i just unscrewed it and dumped it like I don't know. I don't want to talk. I think I'm going to go ahead and take those wings out of the fridge too. That way they can warm up a little bit because I am hungry. Like to the point where I'm having sharp pains in my stomach because I'm hungry. Like it's time to eat. Probably time to drink some water as well. So while this water is thinking about it, let's move on to our sauce. I should probably roll my sleeves up a little bit for our sauce. Let's just start. Let's check the whipping cream first, make sure it's okay. And the reason why I'm a little suspicious about it because I had my fridge was not on the cold, like on the recommended setting, it was like, it was not fine and basically my milk went bad everything that was on the door pretty much went bad this was kind of in the back of the fridge so i'm just like maybe you're okay i don't know i'm scared this tastes like butter is that what it's supposed to taste like and then we're gonna put a little bit of cream cheese in there I don't think we need to add butter, if I'm being honest. Like, we're adding enough stuff. Adding butter seems crazy at this point. This is supposed to be like a quick, simple Alfredo. I bought all these ingredients when I was still living at the old place. Just a little bit of cream cheese. Maybe I wanna buy a bagel, and I need this cream cheese for that. Sorry, that noise you guys hear is the fan. Mozzarella stinks. It tastes all right. Add a little bit of that. A little bit of Parmesan. Some garlic. Probably too much garlic, but who cares? on low right now because the water for the noodles still isn't boiling and I don't want this to burn so I'm actually going to go ahead and take it off with the heat and move it to the side I like that now we're just waiting for the noodles or the water to boil up so we could get with the program I ended up not even adding the salt because I figured the cheese and everything else is going to be salty enough it doesn't need the salt if anything, I might add a little bit of pepper. 
my pepper grinder is on the kitchen table. I am not a fan of pepper, but I know sometimes it is necessary, but I am not a pepper girl at all. Uh, veggies are still being vegetables in the oven, so I guess that's going good. Have my fettuccine. Honestly, these might be linguine. I like these better because the fettuccine noodles are too wide. Like these are more fun. I like linguine better. Just like thin spaghetti is better than regular spaghetti. Thin, I almost said spaghetti. Thin spaghetti is more fun. And because I'm using this impossibly small pot, I'm actually gonna break my noodles in half. I feel like this is enough. I'm scared it's not gonna be enough. That's not enough. Let's add just a little bit more noodles. I'm horrible with like eyeballing how much noodles is enough, but this just doesn't feel right. Like, let's just do a little bit more. All right, we're done. We're not gonna add any more. We just hope it's enough noodles. Hmm, concern. All right, I guess I'm gonna let everything continue to think, you know, do its own thing, and then I'll be back when it's time to assemble. All right, we're back. I actually was sitting on the couch on my phone. I completely forgot about my noodles, but we're back. We gotta check on the noodles. Yeah, this is not a lot of noodles. I messed up. This is not a lot. This is like pretty much, there's a couple more left down there, but wow, I messed up. Dang. Let's see if they're done. No, they're not done. I guess let me get back to the couch. All right, the noodles have to be done at this point. Yeah, they seem pretty done. Let's try one. A little too done, but it's okay. too much sauce for the amount of noodles I made looks good though all right let's check our vegetables Done enough. Let's plate it up. Ow, I forgot that was hot. Whoops. Taste it. I like this. Let's squirt a little lemon on the alfredo. A little bit of salt. And there we go. This is my dinner. I'll be back when it's time for dessert. I might have something quick like some ice cream or something but i'm gonna eat this drink some sweet tea and find something to watch on youtube while i sit we're back in the kitchen and i wanted to show this light because i just got it and i don't have a usb to plug it in really quick it's a little light i got it for the cooking with chrissy like background 
just to have something like on the wall behind me. I mean, obviously it would be in the dining room and not in this space. Uh, let me find a USB situation so I can show you what it looks like because it's so cute. I'm gonna plug it into my laptop over here. Can you see from over there? Can you see? Let me, look how cute that is. And just to have it like on the wall as I'm cooking, just a little something extra to look at. I think that's really cute. Precious, we love that. See, now as I'm standing here, look how cute that looks. Now it's making me wanna get a neon sign just to sit right there. What have I done? That looks so cute. It's so plain back there too. Ugh. I have to go look for another neon sign to put there because I love that. That's precious. We're gonna leave it sitting over there for a little bit, but now we're in here. What is that doing? Um, yeah, let's have some dessert. So yesterday I was, like I really, really am sad because I want some of that banana pudding ice cream from Creamalicious, but it was like, it's still out of stock at my local Target and I didn't wanna drive 20 minutes out to the fancy Walmart why does the oven still feel warm? I mean, it's off, but it's definitely like toasty. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna eat some of the ice cream in my fridge. This sweet potato one, like it's decent. And I know it was Taylor's favorite, but it's very maple-y, like very sweet. Like if anything, it might be too sweet for me. And this is a different one. So I bought my, like, the one in my aunt's is still there and this is a different one that I bought, but it's just entirely too sweet and I hate to waste these because they're kind of expensive, like five or six dollars for like a, what is this, a pint? A pint of ice cream, like that's kind of pricey. But I guess that's kind of normal price for like a higher end ice cream, but. It's too sweet. And I almost wanna say it's it's mapley or something. It might not be maple, it might just be, hold on. Milk, cream, brown sugar, molasses. I wonder is that what I'm tasting? Sweet potato flavor, pumpkin puree, nutmeg, cinnamon. No, it doesn't have any maple in it, it must be like the brown sugar kind of situation that I'm tasting. Cause it does taste like sweet potato. Like it really does, but it's too sweet. It literally feels like I'm eating just sweet potatoes with so much brown sugar. Like even when I make sweet potatoes at home, I don't, I don't like them so sweet. This is way too sweet for me. So I probably, like I would hate to waste it, but I just, I can't, I'm not gonna enjoy it because it's entirely too sweet. All right, but this uh, Cosmic Brownie, this one is so good for like a chocolate ice cream. This one is my, but now I'm, and I'm talking a mile a minute, I keep bouncing around, but since I had to turn the settings up on my fridge, now the freezer is just too cold and it just makes everything just so hard. Like, I just want to snack on this and it's too hard and it just like makes me want to give up because I'm like, I'm not about to sit here and struggle to eat some ice cream. I'm trying to have a good time, not fight. So, yeah. I'm gonna stick my head in the freezer and see if I can find a setting to turn the freezer down just a little bit. I don't have any meat in there, it's just ice. Ice cream and ice. Yeah, there's nothing in here to turn down how cold it is. Like, I hate that. Like, I don't want it that cold in the freezer. Like, relax. Relax, freezer, you're getting too crazy. Maybe I'll start leaving the ice cream on the fridge door. That way, maybe, I don't know. Now, the pecan pie one, I think I like this one. Again, it's just so frozen. Like, I'm pissed. <laughs> like, what do I do? Do I turn the fridge down 
and all my stuff goes bad or do I have rock solid ice cream? This is hell. I'm in hell. <laughs> Ice cream goes on the door. Maybe this will. I have a lot of ice cream. We got uh, seven things of ice cream on top of. So I have three of these left. Three of these and one of these. And a pack of hot dogs. They're just going in the trash. Like, I can't. I'm not going to eat this banana pudding is where it's at. <sighs> I can't remember what I was gonna say. I did buy a couch and it's, it's like a little mini love seat that's supposed to go in the game room. Just something simple to sit in there, some extra seating. So I think this weekend I'm going to finish or record some more of the game room renovation. It's not gonna be the room tour, it's just decorating. And I think I'm gonna do a separate video when I do a room tour, now I can show everything in detail. So I think maybe next week it'll go up. If I finish recording it this weekend, it'll go up some point next week. It depends. If I have enough wallpaper to finish the wall and I hang up everything. And then maybe we'll focus on, I think the bathrooms. I'll do bathrooms or I might do kitchen. Cause the living room is gonna be a whole different project. Like that's gonna be a whole thing too. So we'll see. We'll see what we end up with. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and I have edited it so I can have it up for tomorrow. This whole week just flew by like it's already Friday. It just goes by so fast. And I will say, I really enjoy my new apartment. I really enjoy my new job, like just, happy not to be stressed out about those two things because those were like huge things for me last year or the last almost two years was just stressful for me is my job and my apartment and now I just feel oh, good like today when I was working I actually worked the whole day instead of like floating around and then working in spurts like I got so much done and I was calling people a lot of these people at my job don't work. Like, I don't understand what a lot of these departments do. Like you send things over and you're like, I just need you to tell me yes or no. But instead of telling you yes or no, they just keep talking in circles. And it's like, you know what? I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Fight me about it later. Air just came on, hold on. All right, so I've just been sitting here with me and my dry lips waiting for that fan to turn off. Uh, I can't remember what I was talking about. I need to write myself a to-do list because I have stuff to do. I need to do my taxes. Um, I wanted to make a, I wanted to get like update my stream, like the layout for OBS. So I need like new buttons, a new overlay, add music. What else do I need to do? I wanna do any research. Like I've been watching a lot of other people's vlogs just to see how they edit or what they do on their little videos. So that's considered research. I've just been watching a lot of random people's vlogs and just peeping and seeing what the hell they got going on so I could pick up some things. I'm researching different editing styles. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I did, um, I believe the last two to three videos have been in 4K because like my Final Cut Pro, like there is an option to have everything in 4K, but I've been using 1080p because it was less storage, but now everything is going up in 4K. I kind of want to get a new camera, one that has an external mic, because I noticed in this place is kind of loud. Like even when there's no talking, there's a slight hum or something in this place versus my other place didn't have it. It was completely silent. But here I hear something and I feel like if I, if this, if I had like an external mic, I can plug into the camera, it would kind of cancel out that humming. So I don't know, I'm kind of looking at another camera that way I can plug in another mic with a little muff on the top and that will cut out wind or any just lower noises that like white noise that pop up. I don't know, looking at some things, but I'm gonna get me a new notebook and some cute ink pens so I could be one of those journal girls who like sit there and journal. Cause right now I'm just an iPhone notes girl and I just put everything in there. But I feel like writing it down would look like feel really good. 
And then I also need a big picture frame so I can work on that collage. Oh, yeah. I need the picture frame so I can do the sticker collage because I need that for the game room. That has to go on the wall, like, uh, yeah. I'm gonna write myself some notes, but yeah, I'm gonna, we're pulling out the notes and we're gonna add notes until I can get a planner. Hopefully by the weekend, this weather clears up. Fingers crossed, because I think whatever weather storm we're supposed to be having, it's like the most petty storm ever. Like it's not even bad. The snow is so low, but it's just icy. So I'm hoping by the weekend that a melt. So tomorrow, tomorrow, I hope it figures itself out because Saturday I got places to be, things to do. But um, I want to stream, I really want to but I feel like I have things I have to do before I can just be like, oh, I'm hop on the stream. Once I finish all the little things, like all my little errands and little things I have to do around here, I'll be able to just be like, oh, I clocked off work. I don't have anything to do. I'm gonna hop on the stream, that kind of thing. So if I do, sorry, I have a piece of meat in my teeth. If I do hop on, I will, um, no promises. If I hop on, I will put something up on the community tab or up on Instagram and let you guys know. But if I do hop on, it'll just be like a just chatting or just sitting around kind of thing, just talking. I probably wouldn't be playing a game, but we do want to start organizing a game night where we play like Mario Party. I'm not a Mario girl, but I watched uh, Val play Mario Party and it was so cute. Like I want to play Mario Party with people. It was so fun. She had like a bunch of people and they all just played together. Speak of the devil. I was literally just talking about her and she hopped on stream. Let me show you guys. Follow her on Twitch. <laughs> Anytime she hops on, I'm watching and I'm just like chat. Wait, let me turn this down. It is Cali Star 3. So if it pops up, that's where I am. You guys want to hang out, talk. If she's online, best believe I'm in the chat or I'm lurking. So you can talk, come hang out. And she's nice. She's really cool. If she wasn't, I wouldn't be talking about her. But um, yeah, if you made it this far, leave a... Let's do a spaghetti emoji, even though we didn't have spaghetti, but there's no Alfredo emoji. So spaghetti emoji. I remember what we were talking about. We were talking about Mario Party. So yeah, I want to get Mario Party so that we can have like a game night because I have a few like joint games, like multiplayer games. Um, I think I might do like a community post and asking what games people have because I'm going to get Mario Party. I have uh, Uno. Um, I don't know what else. I have to look, I haven't looked at my games in a long time, but I'll do a post probably this weekend to see what everybody else has and we can come together because whatever games most people have, I'll probably end up getting that one. That way we can play as a unit. Uh, but okay, that was all I wanted. For real, goodbye this time. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.